This is my first Halloween look this October and it's a very easy look. You don't even need that many products. You just need everything that you do to do a regular full face of makeup plus diamonds and a white eyeliner. So it's so easy. Like you don't need any real skill to do this but yeah. And even if you do mess up, these jewels will just like distract and like it'll be all good. But yeah, I also started off this makeup look intending to do something else. But I realized I didn't have the right materials. So I'll do that another day. And this is what I came up with today, last minute. So if you like this video at any point throughout this video. Like this video for the algorithm and subscribe if you want. You don't have to. But yeah, okay, I'll stop talking now. Hi, so I'm doing my foundation. And I'm not going to show much of this because... I have a foundation routine and everything in that video is pretty much the same except I'm using today the e.l.f. concealer but I really wanted to try this out so and with the extra I'm just gonna pat it on my eyelid and I'm gonna finish my foundation routine off camera and I'll be right back I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty nude medium palette so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm taking that with a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna just put that in my crease and I'm just gonna blend this all over my eye and this is pretty much gonna be the only color and I'm gonna do the same on this eye and I don't normally do this, but I'm going to take some white eyeliner and just put it in my waterline. Just to make my eyes pop more. I'm going to put mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Just to help them blend into my false lashes. I'm also going to line the top part right here with some black eyeliner. And that will also help the lashes blend well into your real lashes. And I just poked myself in the eye. So be careful when you do that. And for lashes, I'm using the Lily Lashes in Miami. I forgot how big these lashes are, but you know, it's cool. So I think that's it for the eyes for now. Probably come back to it when I get like the finishing touches and stuff. But now I have to pee, so... So, I actually decided I want on this side because this is my good side. And since, like, this is my bad side, I want it to be covered with jewels so it looks less bad. Yesterday and today, I got some jewels from Joann's. And these are the ones I got. They're called Bab Lab Gem Stickers. And I also got these rhinestones from Hilly and Joe. And they're just pearls. So, yeah, I'm just going to use those. And then also these, which I got from the same place. So if you just just go to Joann's, get like hella rhinestones and you'll just be fine with those. And get all different like size rhinestones. I have like a lot of variation. So yeah, but first, I'm like so unorganized right now. I really wanted to do a look like this and I'll include some other examples that I liked. So I'm just gonna do that for today. And right now I'm using the Dior Skin Nude Air Highlighter in 003, but it's discontinued. And yeah, so I'm gonna take my highlighter and I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. So I'm gonna take some white eyeliner and this is just the Sephora brand. It's just a regular pencil and I'm gonna use my reference photo. I'm gonna have it and I really just I'm going to outline where my eyebrow is. So my circle is terrible. I drew some ugly circles right here. So now I'm gonna start putting pearls on here. So there's a variety of them. I'm gonna use this type of pearl. I'm gonna do that all around here where I drew the lines and I'm gonna do it on top. And for the glue, I'm going to use the duo um, just like brush on adhesive and I'm going to start doing this in little sections so I'm going to go and put a little bit on there and I'm going to start putting my jewels. Just realized I only have enough of these to do one eye so I guess we're going to do like one of those half face looks. And I'm gonna just wipe this off. Yeah, so that worked. Now I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take these and I'm just gonna start putting them in between where these connect. And it's not a perfect circle, but 
please forgive me. I'm not that good at costume makeup. Now, if you're actually going to do this and go somewhere, you probably might want to actually glue them down, but I'm not even going anywhere, so I'm just putting them on my face because these are stickers and they have like a sticky back. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to take these smaller ones now and put about like three um, around each one of these jewels. And hopefully that looks cute. Hi, so I'm going to voice over now because I just started doing makeup and like just getting into it. And I know I said I was going to put three around each Baker Diamond, but I ended up changing my mind last minute only putting one on the outer part. And you can see where I accidentally brushed one diamond off. So I just put a little dot of glue and I restuck it on there. If you're going to glue every single one on your face. So now I'm taking the white eyeliner and I'm just drawing the teeth part of the skeleton. Also, this would look a thousand times better if you have liquid white eyeliner. But I didn't have any so that's why I didn't use it. And I highly recommend you have a reference picture. I didn't have a reference picture. I just kind of went based off of past skulls that I've seen people do. So that's why mine probably looks like super janky. But it's okay. We're going to put jewels and it's going to look pretty still. And now for the other half of my face, I'm just doing half my mouth of lipstick. And this one is the Milani one. And the other half of my mouth was bare and I didn't like it. So I put some lighter lipstick. But I used a tube lipstick that wasn't super matte. I recommend you use a lipstick that's matte, that dries matte, so that when you draw the teeth like I'm doing right now, it won't like rub the lipstick around, if you know what I mean. Now for the teeth, I'm going to start making these triangular figures. And I'm just going to go and make like a kind of a slant going from each line that we did for the teeth and just tapering it upwards to make those like you know, triangles that we like for teeth. And I know you're thinking it, but I know my mouth looks really bad the way I did it, but I just did not have the right materials. I could do way better, I promise. And in my future looks, I will do better, but I just didn't have the right tools for the mouth. Now I'm gonna take my bronzer with a little tiny blending brush, and I'm just gonna make some shadows in between the teeth so at the top where you tapered it, I'm going to put it there just to give a little bit of depth, but it doesn't really do that much because I still wanted the look to be bright. And I also put some bronzer on the inside of that area, but I don't think I like it that much, so probably leave this out and it'll look better that way. I just wanted like a little hollowness, but I don't know. Now I'm taking these medium sized jewels and I'm just going to stick them in the empty spaces where the teeth are. And again, I recommend putting glue if you're going to wear this look out. So I don't recommend doing this, but I put bronzer on the inside to act like a shadow, but I f***ed <laughs> up, so don't do this. I'm really just leaving it in in case you noticed a difference, but I think it looks better without the shadowing. And if you're going to do the shadowing, I recommend doing it before you put the jewels in. Now I'm going to take the white eyeliner again, and I'm just going to draw the skeleton shape of the nose. You can, again, use a reference photo, but I just used this from my memory. And just fill it in, and I felt like it was missing, like, bling, because all of the other things on my face have bling. So I just put three, like, medium-sized jewels, and I thought it looked cute. Now I'm taking the large jewels, and I'm putting them in between the other jewels that we put around the eye. And also, disregard the thing in the center of my forehead. I'm going to remove that in a bit, because I ended up not liking it. Now I'm going to take this one from the pearl packet that I got and I'm going to put it on the center of my forehead but also at the top and sideways and just press it in real hard. And now I'm taking these medium ones and I'm going to put them around the big one to make kind of like a half flower looking thing. And that's it for my tutorial! Here is the final look! I didn't glue it so I might be talking funny but... Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more Halloween looks, I'm going to be doing some more Halloween looks, so subscribe, but you don't have to. Comment down below some diamond emojis. Okay, bye!